guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alice. I go by Hello Alice here on YouTube and I make art videos. And today I actually have a digital painting for you guys. I haven't done a digital painting in a really, really, really long time. But as some of you may know, I actually just moved house and I have not finished unpacking yet. I've been at my new apartment for two weeks now and everything is still in boxes. It's ridiculous. My art room is a giant mess. That's one of the reasons I'm not participating in the YouTube Artist Collective this week because the YouTube Artist Collective is traditional only and I have not unpacked anything and my desk is covered in boxes. So we're doing some digital artwork today so hopefully you guys like it. Um, it's been a while since I've done any digital artwork so it was kind of nice to sit down and, and, and kind of play in Photoshop for a bit. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay. So one of the things that I want to talk about um, throughout this video is art block. And I'm not really sure where I'm going to be going with this. So I'm just going to start. I have art block right now, like really, really bad art block. And I, I'm still making art um, because, and I talked about this in my previous art block video, when you're a professional artist, even if you have art block, like you still have to make deadlines, like you still have to get stuff done. But it has been very, very hard for me to motivate myself to draw. Um, I have been really, really struggling. I felt like everything that I've drawn has just been coming out terribly. I felt like I'm not good enough, that I can't do this, that I, um, that I, I picked the wrong career. I mean, just a lot of really, really negative thoughts. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with some parts of my art, but other parts of my art just feel so inadequate and I feel like there is still so much for me to learn um, and so little time for me to do it. And um, one of the other things that has been contributing to this um, that I wanna talk about is uh, May is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, and I do struggle with some mental health problems, one of which is clinical depression, which I've had on and off throughout my entire life. Um, and I'm not in a depressive state right now, but I am kind of in a low period, um, is what I'm going to call it. And I think that is definitely contributing to the art blog. And I think it can be really, really hard when you are not only creatively blocked, but also when you feel I want to say physically blocked, but like when you're drawing and your drawing is just like nothing comes out right and, and you just feel like you've like you've lost the ability to draw, um, which is kind of where I have been recently. Like I, I've been feeling like I've lost the ability to draw. And when you combine that with being in a kind of a, a, a low phase, it, it can be really, really disheartening. Um, and you can have all of these like kind of voices in your head telling you you're not good enough and this was a waste of your time and this was a waste of your money and, and you shouldn't have done this and, and all of that kind of stuff. And that can be really, really hard to deal with. And I know I'm not the only person that has been through stuff like this before, which is why I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, and... I think that it's really important when you are in a, a state like this. Um, I think it's important to do two things. The first is to be kind to yourself um, and realize that everything is temporary and everything will pass and, you know, you're going to have low points in your life and, and you're going to feel like shit and, and, and you're going to, you know, feel like I can't do this. And, and I don't want to say accept that, but accept that it's okay to feel bad. Like, I think we have this perception that we always have to be happy all the time, you know, and we always have to be positive and, and, and thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this thing and it's going to be great. And the reality of the situation is you can't always be positive all the time because sometimes you just feel crappy and sometimes you just want to be upset and, and, and you want to be like, I can't do this. And, and I'm not saying like, you know, reinforce negative um, voices in your head, but I think it's important to, you know, recognize if you're feeling a certain way and, and, and don't beat yourself up for feeling that way. Like, if you're feeling bad, don't make yourself feel worse by feeling bad about feeling bad, if that makes any sense. Um, and the second thing is, is that, you know, I was talking about being a professional artist and, and all of that, and you kind of have to force yourself to do stuff. And um, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I didn't want to make 
a video this week. Um, this was the first video that I made coming back from moving. The previous three that I've uploaded were all pre-filmed and I didn't want to make a video this week. Um, I was tired and stressed and um, really sick of unpacking and I, I'm living in a mess right now. Um, I just started working full time and and the idea of drawing when I'm in an art block, when I'm tired, when I'm stressed just seemed completely overwhelming and I basically pulled the video out because I'm extraordinarily stubborn and I will make my New Year's resolution, okay? This is gonna happen. Like, my New Year's resolution was to upload every Friday. It's happening. Like, I made a commitment to you guys. But the thing is, is I'm really glad I made myself do that because, you know, I kind of had this idea um, that I wanted to do kind of like a fairy with these roses around her and I wanted this kind of... Um, it's not a complementary color scheme, but just like a, a very bright kind of um, contrasty color scheme. Um, and I had this idea of like these roses with this like bright blue and like green, like kind of complementing them. And I wasn't sure like when I started drawing it that I could pull it off. Like I still felt clumsy with the pencil in my hand. I, I felt, um, I felt like I was struggling, but I had to keep going. I mean, I, I had a video that I had to do. I had to keep going. And so I just made it work. And, and I tried not to stress about it too much because at the end of the day, I, it was something that I had to do. So every second that I spent worrying about it was a second that I wasted uh, in terms of getting it done. And coming off finishing it and looking at, at the piece, I'm actually really, really happy with it. Like, I'm really pleased at how it came out. Um, it was really, really great to work digitally again. And um, I feel like I pushed myself in a lot of different ways. I, I did a background and um, I did kind of a full portrait instead of um, just like a face. And I, I kind of pushed some boundaries, at least for me. And coming off of it, I feel like, hey, I did that. Like I made something and I made something that I'm proud of and that I'm happy of. And even though I didn't want to do it at first, like, and I wasn't in a good kind of mind state when I started, like the process of creating that artwork helped push me through my creative block. And I actually have heard this from a couple other artists um, here on YouTube um, that have said, oh, I was in a creative block. And then I, I, I took this challenge upon myself and I, and I forced myself to do the challenge. And that kind of helped you break through it. And I think art block is kind of one of those things like you're never going to get through art block if you just sit around and you never make art. You know what I mean? Like you're never going to get over something if you don't address it. And it's one of those things that I think, you know, you can wait for inspiration to strike and you can wait for inspiration to strike, but eventually you're going to have to just address it head on. You're going to have to just say, hey, I'm going to make some art and it may turn out terribly, but... I'm going to, I'm going to make some art. Um, and that's kind of what I did. And, and honestly, like, I'm proud of myself. Like, I'm glad I made some art, like it feels good. And it makes me feel more excited to keep creating, even though I do still feel blocked. I feel like I made really good progress and, um, really moved forward with this piece. So yeah, uh, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that and about Art Block and just kind of sit down and have a little chat with you and kind of be real about some of the stuff that's going on with me right now because I know I'm not the only person that it, that is feeling this way. So I hope that that's helpful to you or at least if you're going through this as well, makes you feel not quite so alone. I know it can feel really isolating, especially when there's so much amazing art going up right now. Um, and, you know, we live in this age where you're constantly surrounded by social media and you're seeing what everyone else is doing and people are creating these amazing things. And it's, it's really hard not to compare yourself to that and feel inadequate. Um, but, you know, people are struggling and everyone has struggles, everyone has challenges that they have to face and that they have to deal with. And um, the only way to get stronger and to get better is to face those challenges and not run away from them. So yeah, um, that was a long little rambly, rambly ramble. Um, I don't have too much to say about the piece that I haven't already said. Um, but this is done in Photoshop. I used my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD, I think it's called. Um, and the brushes that I'm using is, are they're the Mega Pack from Kyle Brush and then also just kind of a custom brush that I use myself. Um, 
and yeah, uh, working digitally was fun, man. Like I, I think I might do a couple more digital videos because it might be a while until this place is fully unpacked. I'm going to be real. Um, so let me know what you thought of the digital video. Do you like digital videos? And if any of you are going through an art box, art block, please let me know. Um, my support is with you. I love you guys. And please share any techniques that you all have that help you when you're in an art block and, and help you move past that because, you know, we can all benefit from kind of helping each other out. So yeah, uh, that is it. that's all I have to say. But I miss you guys. It feels good to be making a video again. Um, it's been a while because I've been doing these pre-recorded videos and it actually feels really, really good. So I'm excited to be back. Um, so yeah. Anyway, if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell if you haven't already. I have been having some issues with my subscriber boxes not showing the videos. So make sure you hit that notification bell for notifications. I do upload new videos every single Friday. So come join the Wonderland fam. It is a lot of fun. We make art, eat a lot of pizza. It's a, it's a good time. So yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Bye guys.